Dana, Gilbert Burns, my man, he came out here and put on one of the most dominant performances. I don't think anyone expected him to win in that fashion. Yeah, well, listen, the, the kid is explosive. He's really well-rounded. He's one of the most dangerous guys you can fight. He's, he's got heavy hands, incredible jujitsu, great takedown defense, great leg kicks, great kicks to the head. He's a very dangerous guy. You know, the question always is what, what Woodley's going to show up. Um, you know, I, I expected in the later rounds for Woodley to be more aggressive and, and uh, uh, you know, he had to land the big punch and try to knock him out. Um, he didn't go for it tonight, and he didn't win it. I think his confidence obviously a little shattered after that first round. And you have to give Gilbert some credit. He didn't play it safe in the fifth round. He went out there and wanted to show that he's deserving of a title shot. Yeah, he's, he's not a, a play it safe kind of guy, which is why I knew this fight would be fun. Um, you know, he's so confident in his skills everywhere. No matter where the fight goes, uh, he, he's good. So uh, I expected this to be a really good fight, and I expected, uh, you know, I, expect, I knew what to expect. I actually thought Burns would be a little more aggressive than he was, and he was the aggressor in the whole fight. Um, the question was what Woodley's going to show up tonight, and uh, here we are. Here we are. You know, in terms of the welterweight division, he's now just beat the number one contender. He trains with Kamaru Usman. You've got Usman and Masvidal. There's kind of a little bit of a log jam up there. What are your thoughts on what's next for Gilbert Burns? Well, I wouldn't say there's a log jam. I'd say that the that the 170 pound division looks really exciting right now. I mean, any of these fights uh, from you know number one down to number five, these guys are all uh, you know the top five best in the world at 170 pounds and. You know, now we're getting this thing back up and running. Fight Island coming soon. So we will uh, we'll be putting on some really fun fights this summer. Gilbert said he's ready. Would you like to see him fight this summer? I love that about this guy. And, yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, I, I want to see all these guys fight this summer. So hopefully, you know, we get them all going. Usman, uh, Masvidal, Edwards, Covington, the, you know, the, the, the whole top five. Do you have one in mind for him? I don't right now. No, no, right here, right now, I don't. In terms of... Another fight on this card that was pretty impressive. Billy Quarantillo and Spark Carlisle. Thoughts on their performance? Yeah, incredible fight. Um, you know, tonight we, 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 you know, do the bonuses. It was a tough night of bonuses because every fight was great tonight. Great performances. Uh, great finishes. So it was, it was, uh, it was a great night. I'm, I'm really happy. Well, you look ahead to next weekend where you've got some other amazing fights. That card totally stacked as well. You've got the GOAT, Amanda Nunes. Defending that title, attempting to defend that title. Once again, she's got Felicia Spencer, who's a tough opponent. Thoughts on that matchup? Very, very tough opponent. And, uh, you know, she's in a place right now. She's beat all the big names. She's beat the best of the best, including Shevchenko twice. So she's in a position now where, um, you know, all the new up-and-comers she has to be ready for and, uh, and, and take them all out and, and break records and get to a level where, you know, what she accomplishes and what she achieves will be hard to match, and, and she'll go down as, as the greatest ever. You know, we talked about this yesterday, but the Bantamweights, you've got Cody Garbrandt coming back. You know, that division, also really fun. What are you looking forward to in, to in terms of the Bantamweight division? Now you know, we know it'll be Jan Aldo on Fight Island, but in terms of the other guys. Yeah, the, that's another division that's really fun right now and stacked with a bunch of big names. And... Uh, is, is going to heat up this summer and, and be fun. We'll find out who the new champion is um, and who gets the next shot with some of these fights that are coming up this summer. This summer, you you talked about having the fights in July. How many do you think you'll have? Oh, that I don't know. We're, we're I know we're booked up to like July 18th right now with fights, but we don't know where um, a couple of them will be. Plus, who knows how this whole thing, this pandemic is going to play out over the next several months. So, Listen, uh, three months ago, I could tell you any question you ever asked me about my business. <laughs> I don't know these days. We'll, we'll see how this thing how this thing all works out. Fair enough. Crazy times. Before I let you go, Daniel Cormier is here. Any news on his fight with Stipe? No, we're, we're working on that. That's the fight to make. Um, I know Stipe's in on it, too. We, we just got to get it figured out when and where. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.